Hello, welcome to another episode of Magic Arena Run. Today's uh, weekend, I'm going to be doing yet another draft. This time it's Rivals of Ixalan. So without further ado, let's see what we get to crack again. So we did one earlier. It's kind of middling okay, 4 wins. And I don't want to get the Time Stream Navigator. There's a lot of blue, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get any back, but I'm, actually, I'm, limit, I'm genuinely quite curious. Hunt the Weeks probably the bet honestly the better pick but let's give this one a shot let's see if we can get enough flyers so we want to get flyers blue or evasive creatures i'm gonna stick with blue for now <laughs> curious obsession and rage register nah let's just let's try to get as many flying creatures as we can so menace also kind of counts i'll take the water not though we were and the adept is just fine. So we we're gonna try to see how many evasive creatures we can get. This one allows us some bounce, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the other corsair. Well I could take crashing tri tide tr also. Yeah, let's take the crashing tide. It's, a, it's also card draw. Solo the rapids is definitely a nice thing to put on. So currently mono blue. Could use another color. I'm thinking black if we if we stick with the potential pirates route. We could also just take Colossal Dreadmo for a nice top end. Also the problem is this one only benefits other vampires. We're not gonna get into white anytime soon. Let's take the Dreadmo. Are the veteran? That's another creature. I'm gonna give this one a shot. At least one copy. Okay, definitely taking the Miss Cloak Herald. Flood of Recollection, not, quite, not so great. Missed out on the White Train, but I'm gonna take this one just in case. Okay, these are all bad. Let's take, let's take the one most likely to ruin us. Shake the foundations, sure. Fanatical Firebrand, I already have four copies of this. I might just take the Snubhorn Sentry. Pirates Pillage, that's interesting. So, quite decent. Yet another Profane Procession. We did skip out on rares. I'm gonna take another Curious Obsession. We're just genuinely curious. How can we make this deck work? Sphinx's Decree. Each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells. This is def. I like the t this is first time seeing this in the arena. I'm gonna take the Sky One. I could take Exalted Sky Marcher. It is cheaper, but we're mostly blue and we have no idea what our se second color is. Mastermind's Acquisition, Slippery Scoundrel. This one's, this one's interesting. It's also in common. Probably the Soul Rapids might be a better pick, but that's quite expensive. Got a Woodland Stream. We can do the Dead Eye Brawler plan. Take also take another Crashing Tide, Sworn Guardian. Hmm. Got so many options, and I'm gonna speculate. Take the Woodland Stream for now. We might Green might be interesting. Okay, there's Jungleborn Pioneer. Okay, I guess I'm more willing to go into Green. And another Colossal Dreadmaw. I could just take the Riverwise Augur. Draw three cards, put two of them on top. With no way to shuffle. This one's okay ish. We could use more Merfolk, to be honest, if we want Silvergill Adda to work. Also, I don't think we want to have too many Dread Moss. We, there are still Dread Moss in the original pack. I'll take the Hunt the Week, though. We got another Soul of the Rapids, so I'm definitely taking that. Secrets over Araska Frillback. Sure. If I want green creatures, I want them to be Merfolk at least. Or this guy. This one counts. Foul Orchard. Yeah, it's better than any of these others. Sworn Guardian. Sure. Another Sworn Guardian. I swear I've seen too many of these Guardians. And we got Primal Amulet as our rare. We do have a few. We we do have a few instants and sorceries. 
Okay, it's a bit of a drought in the rear department, taking the branch walker. I will take the air. Oh, this one's a nice rear. So we do have a raid trigger with this one. Not that many creatures though. Dive down's a good way to protect our creatures. I'm just gonna take the Verdant Sun's avatar. Let's see, Sirens, Roos. If a pirate was exiled this way, I'll actually just take the New Horizons. Actually, gra Grazing Whiptail's not a bad option. It blocks other flyers. But we do have a few top end creatures. And this one puts a plus one plus one counter, which helps our smaller creatures. I'm willing to go for this one. So, Dead Eye Quartermaster, equipment or vehicle, we have neither. I'll just take the Wind Strider, it's a nice surprise. River Herald's Boon. We could cap. It is sort of a combat trick. I could just take Sailor of Means also. We could use a few pirates, but. No, the pirates don't really care about each other here, so that doesn't matter. I'll take the Stormfleet Sculptor, though. It's either this guy or the fl Spy. I'll just take the Sculptor. This one ruined me in the last draft. Deep Root Waters. It's not gonna come back. How many Merfolk do we have? One, two... I don't wanna run these. Let's say three, four, five... Six, seven, eight... 9, 10. Okay, we have enough. I'll run. I'm willing to run deep root waters. Shipwreck looter, draw then discard. Jungle delver, put a counter. I'll take the shipwreck looter. I do. I did say want merfolk, but hmm. Discard a card to untap. No blinding fog. Interesting. I'll take the pirates. Okay, I'll take the dive down. Well, Siren's Ruse also helps, but I think dive down is more useful for us. Let's take the uncommon. And the dual shot's bad for us. Spell Pierce is good for us. We might actually be able to just cut green altogether. But let's try not to, so... I'm actually going to cut this rare. Let's keep these guys. So let's cut our non-creature spells too. We got a ton of them. So... Spell Pierce goes. Let's keep the Curious Obsessions. That's what's going to keep us in the game. Crashing Tide stays. Sailor Means can go. It's just a tree drop. So we need to make five more cuts. New Horizons. Actually, this one can actually go. Windstrider can stay. Prosperous Pirates can go. Spirewinder stays. I did say I need to cut spells, right? Nine. Probably just cut the dive down. Got two copies of Secrets. I'll just cut one of those. We have, a, we have some amount of card draw. I could even cut both. I'm just going to cut both of them. Because our curb is relatively low, probably want to cut another tree drop. Or maybe just the auger. Yeah, that's probably the weaker one. So let's do a ch merfolk check. Eight merfolk. Hmm. I think eight merfolk is enough to trigger this guy. That's pretty much the only thing we want to trigger, to be fair. Okay, I'm willing to keep this. 9 is good. Let's see if we can do much better with this more streamlined deck. So, it's not purely merfolk, but the emphasis is on evasion. We want to evade as many creatures as we can, kinda emulate the mono blue deck that's been unfold recently. I guess I'll play the Sworn Guardian. <laughs> Let's check our opponent's colors before we go all in on Curious Obsession. Okay, black, not a good sign. Generally, black has some sort of removal. 
That said, let's see if I can remember the removal that's in black. Can it kill a tree drop? No, it can't. So let's at least get our investment back. Shipwreck looter. We still need green mana. Let's see if our opponent has oh, mono black and nothing. I might actually just check the deep root waters here. Okay. Did I play a land? I probably shouldn't have played the land. Yeah. That's a mistake. So I'm actually. I could also just play the crashing tide. No, let's just play the deep root waters first. Point is gonna have to spend a reasonable investment to remove this one. Probably can now. Come on, here, Gus. Okay, probably can. I'm definitely gonna play the woodland stream. Okay, this is just me being annoying. And drawing a ton of cards. And I want to draw a card. I definitely want to draw another card. I want to. I want to just cast on this book. I would have preferred putting it here, but I swear this is a really curious deck. Opponent probably has removal for this by now. Watch your dusk again. He's the door. Just gonna get some back. I'm gonna hunt the weak. Okay, he's gone. I'm gonna hunt the weak, get rid of the legion, conquest the door. And I can attack with everyone. Sure, this is attacking everyone. You'll block. And okay, then let's play the shipwreck looter. Take action. Score. Then we can actually do it all over again with, with Storm Sculptor after I attack. Most likely, I'll ch throw the ship recruiter now. He's gonna buy some time with this. Well, I'm currently okay. If I don't attack, I lose the curious obsession, so I might as well attack. There's no way about it. At least I get to trade it for something. Anyway, I got all my cards worth. That's what's important. So you can just... Okay. Let's just get rid of the bigger guy. That's a bad tap. We might lose the Storm Sculptor. Okay. Show me a combat trick. Okay, so... This, <laughs> we did draw more than half our deck. Or now the game truly begins. So we get a tree four. Can I 
seen is we can keep hitting for four damage every turn. So our immediate job is to protect Storm Sculptor at the least. So he's played out. Yeah, he's more or less played out. So definitely playing arm playing the armosaur next turn. Let's see if our opponent actually attacks. If he sends this one, I just trip I just triple block. Or maybe not. Okay, pass it turn. this I'm trying to remember if there's a big sweeper here probably not so I'm gonna hold on to the jungle born pioneer that bullet. Now our opponent has to draw another removal spell next turn. He could go all in. He could actually send the lifelink just to buffer his life. Yeah, he needs to do something now. Yeah, keeping the one dive down was actually quite correct given the nature of our deck. So So this guy blocks this guy. This guy blocks this guy. This guy blocks this guy. Chomp. Okay, just take the tree. Actually, the chump is not necessary there. I probably should have kept it. And I think that's good game, unless our opponent has... I, ha I did have the jungle born in case he had them seek um, golden demise. So that was quite long, but... <laughs> Yeah, Curious Obsession is quite broken if you can get it down early. Again, there are the usual caveats. Make sure your opponent... Check the colors your opponent's playing. That said, we did, draw, we did draw a bunch of cards. So by the time we... So by, by the time it lost its usefulness, we were quite good. Definitely gonna just play the... This one's a bit scarier. I'd rather have a... I'd rather have a beefier creature than Shipwreck Looter. Okay, one so is seven two. We we open so we can at least play the shipwreck looter. Then check our opponent's colors. Most likely I won't play Curious Obsession unless I draw one of our flyers or whatnot. I might just run Looter into Jungleborn Pioneer. For the trade. He's probably gonna just take the damage. Then we're gonna actually just play the branch walker instead. Let's see if we can get our source something not that expensive. I'm not gonna play Curious Obsession because you need to Play it on your first main phase and attack with it, or else you just lose it. So we'll take the two. 
Let's see what kind of creature opponent plays. Drill back. Okay, we have to hold back. We'll just keep beating them, I suppose. Is unknown shores, so he's probably multicolored. Yeah, you don't play unknown shores if you only have two colors. There's gotta be a third color in line. This guy's gonna hunt the weak. willing to do that. Getting one card back is good enough. So I'm still gonna take a big hit here. When it's okay, so it's basically dinosaurs. <laughs> if it forces our opponent to use a bombard on that, I'm perfectly happy. And it holds back. I could hunt the wheat just to nuke these two. But I'm gonna Play Storm Sculptor, take back the Silver Reveal Adept, and because I can play it again next turn. Trash of Raptors. Mana, so. 6 beats 5. It's still unblockable. That said, I might be willing to actually take the damage off this one first. Brings me down to eleven. I could just trade it two for one. Basically, give us a little buffer in case of a there's a surprise. I didn't play this one. So we have a bit of a so we have a life buffer at least. Just in fact blasts. Blossom Dryad. Actually we win. Shabby, two wins. Nice fell scepter. Nice specter. I guess if you've been watching the videos I made for quite a while, you might have noticed I tend to swap out a lot of words a bit. Sometimes it's just swapping out the pronunciation. I know what I really want to say, but. A little gap in pronunciation changes the term. So that said, uh, I'm willing to keep this one. Not gonna be a hacker. Maybe no Silvergill Adept immediately, but if we can keep beating for two in the air for a while, it's not bad. Curious Obsession and Soul of the Rapids would be so busted. That said, let's draw the card first. I want to draw into one of our curious obsessions. Okay, maybe not quite. At least we didn't get it with this one. Also this early, at least we get to force a trade of some sort. Okay, or maybe not. So let's attack first. 
just not like I'm gonna. When it has res responses, I suppose there's an opt in my future. Yeah, there are opponents' future. So, curious obsession. Sworn Guardian, let's dump that. I'm sure I could use another Merfolk, but we already have our turn 4 play, turn 5 play in the Python, more or less. Hunt the Weak would be nice if we least get through the that. Also take a curious obsession too. Now he has to decide if he's he's most likely gonna just lose the sailor of means. Again, not the best use. Especially if our well if our opponent uses it for dive down now, so be it. Slash of Talents would be the only triumph. Yeah, that was a really bad one. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Probably should have played them in Soul instead. Maybe that was a little bit too greedy. Good news is we can keep dodging this one. Bad news is if he attacks, I just take one. There's also Water Knot. Yeah, I should have waited. We do have another Curious Obsession, but I think this is our better chance of winning as we um, keep beating in the air. So we're going to be taking two from the ground every time. Well, I could block with this, but... Okay. It's relatively fine. I don't think our opponent's going to swing with both. Oh, he did. No blocks. Your opponent plays instead because we can just swing back with everything. Back with so we definitely have um, City's Blessing. Unless there's a counter spawn. So this is the all flyer attack. Yeah, this draft went a lot better than the last one. Ooh! Four color opponent. Right there. Again, not taking the not taking the bait. Also not gonna bother water nothing. When it doesn't have the flash line, so can we please dodge that one? We're, so we're just waiting to water not whatever fly. I can literally ignore that though. That's it. So we lost the curious obsession. But we won the war, so I'm, I'm okay with that too. <clears throat> so three wins, not a loss in sight. They say that Rab Ravenous Chupacabra is the mythic and common for an excellent block. I think Curious Obsession <clears throat> might be very close. So definitely playing the Sworn Guardian first. So let's see what kind of merfolk deck our opponent has. Take the hit, play the land. Okay, another miscloak arrow. So I'm just gonna play the merfolk branch walker. Okay, grabs us a land, which is okay, we kinda need it. So I guess we're gonna try to raise our opponent. Let's see what the opponent has for me. No, nothing. I'm no, there is a flash creature. I'm 
trying to. That's what these are. Okay. Okay, not bad. So we lose. So it's a one for one. No, he get, does get a treasure. Flashing tie library. We're gonna need that. Should be playing something right about now. Traffic incursion. Let's see if he trades them both. No, he's not trading. So let's see, shipwreck looter is probably a no. No, let's play the shipwreck looter first. Let's see, if we draw land... Miss Cloak Herald... I'm actually gonna ditch the Herald. At least gives me something to block these guys with. Opponent can start drawing card. Well, you can draw a card if you want to cash it all in. Most likely gonna play something big. So my uh, life is slowly ticking away. Sailor of means, so we're definitely on the defensive. Good attack, but it does nothing. My only hope is to cap to race with this one and probably start swinging with this guy too. So I'm probably just gonna play the jungle born pioneer and start gumming up the board. Simply made these two tokens. And I'm going to just play the armor sword. Oh. I really could use one of our flyers. Yeah, we should play the flyer too. Oh well, we probably crash and tie it next turn. I'm just gonna play the Soul of the Rapids so we can block the Windstrider. I don't think we're gonna win this game. Yeah, one single Sailor of Means kinda wrecked the. Actually, he could start swinging with these earlier, but yeah, he can crack back easily. for one of these yeah we we kind of lost this one we allowed our opponent to get control we were not aggressive enough This one's a good game. We we messed up this one. This one's just literally us conceding. We 
could buy ourselves one more turn with Crashing Tide, but we won't have any meaningful offense afterwards. I suppose. Yeah, that does nothing. So, yeah, he just chooses to. Yeah, let's concede there. Yeah, let's not put our opponent in any more suspense. Opponent can easily play through any of those things. Also, I did say good game. It really was just con a concession of sorts. So, what? that's our first loss. We simply have to out-aggro our opponent. Opponent was able to take out the first Curious Obsession. Of this of our so, we need to figure out a plan where we're not completely dependent on him. So, at least we got turn 1 into turn 2. With with dive down support in the future. Uh, possible our big guys might be might be causing problems, but then again we kinda need them. So. PC cracked first, so the PC went green, so I'm expecting to get rid of dinos. At least we got third mana. And you can draw a card if you play something. Let me just go for that instead. Okay, survey says what's the two drop of the. Oh, I need to. Well, he. Yeah, I guess I'm happy he went that way. So that was a successful move for me. Back, sure, let that resolve. If we play the Slippery Scoundrel, we could just play the Crashing Tide right now. Or, I can attack with these two offer the trade. Hmm, he takes the trade. Okay, not bad. Play the same creature. And with some, with some dive down support. Opponent is stuck on mana. And we're slightly stuck too, but we at least have creatures on board. Waiting for opponent to play something so we can cra crash the party. Um, yeah, opponent getting stuck on mana is quite bad. Guess what happened was our opponent had the hand of four drops or whatnot. Could also be a case of bad colors. Ooh, nice. I, I really need another copy of that. Keep going. Actually, need to leave a little soon. So, thankfully, not too much of a rush. It's a bit of a light affair. I. So much later, I'll be going out to a fundraising dinner. Actually, it's second cousin of a friend of mine su suffering from leukemia. She's only six years old. So basically, I'm going there to show some support. So we might draw into a decent two drop. At the very least, I have the ultra combo. Okay. Hopefully, draw another merfolk. Sentinel. Okay, no more folk. I'll just play the slippery scoundrel. Probably 
Well, this color is not exactly removal heavy though, so I might survive it. Sally's Keeper. Okay, that might be a problem. Okay, here we I could actually put it here, but that's slightly unnecessary. So let's end the turn there. We definitely can trade for the Sun Sentinel. If our opponent gets to the point where he can cast this, we lose. Enough said. Yeah, just attack with both. I don't know. Yeah, because he wants to get rid of that. That's for sure. Just end up playing Soul of the Rapids. I might even. I'm willing to actually trade. Just take the damage. But we're facing off against a bunch of big guys. Okay, thankfully that one missed. So I'll take the hit. And I'm probably. F and I'm forced to play the Overgrown, overgrown Armor Sword first. We are getting close to getting hexproof and can't be blocked, so this is actually a good target also for for curious obsession. Okay, let's trade. He might just attack with this guy only though. Think that also missed. Just play Shipwreck Looter and Swarm Sculptor. Also the Shipwreck Looter. I'm willing to just trade these off. Let's see. When it's slightly flooded. One hit here. So I'm just gonna leave enough to chump the Jade Crap Artisan. Oh, it's really flooded. Ancient Brontodon, but this might be a problem. It's a 10 10 also. Let's, re let's return that. Oh, nice of you to discard it. Soul of Rapids. Well, I need to save mana for Crashing Tide, so let's play the more. Let's go Carol. Doesn't have Trample, so I'm willing to keep that on top of the library. In fact, here. Yeah. Increases, increases the speed of my clock. I will need to play Soul of Rapids eventually. Blazing Hope. Okay. I need to kill our opponent with this what with what we have here. Slash of talons. Okay, we dodged that removal. Him to two, he will 
be able to exile. So we need to hit for more than. So the next one has to be. So let's see. He blocks this one. Oh, he's attacking? Okay. This one has vigilance, so. That's a mistake. It. I was about to put the second obsession, but yeah, that was, a, that was a mistake. He didn't ha have the mana for slash the talents anymore after that. So, not bad, like, wins one loss. Let's keep going at it. The correct play for him there was to just hold everything back. Yes, I was very close to death, but. keeping this one. All he needed was the all he needed was the extra support. So we would then scream first. Looks like Merfolk's the flavor of the week. Everyone's been playing a Merfolk deck so oh wait nope this could be pirate. Yes someone has search. Meanwhile I get to just draw a card. Well can't complain too much. I might actually just play Deep Root Waters next turn. Then I can start cashing Cash I'm I'm cashing off these some Swan Guardians. I wanna ditch Soul of the Rapid so he might be having mana problems down the pipeline. Let's hope this is not a sailor of means. That one wrecked us last time. Recover. That's one way to do it. I'll I'll give you that. So I might not play both Sworn Gardens, I might just play one in the Kite Sail Corsair. Carefleet Interloper has Venice. Gets him away. He's been getting that for days. I'm willing to trade the Adept for that point. Am I willing to trade Adept for a Dive Down? Oh wait, no, cancel. I changed my mind. That's not true. I need to protect the Corsair though. This is the one that needs to be protected. We know our opponent's trying to go for Soul of the Rapids. He's gonna kill it. That dead eye blow is still. He's doesn't fly in. We're not getting this guy anytime soon. Still waiting for another green mana. Or any of our interest or any of our tricks, curious obsession, whatnot. Our opponent gets a life search. Normally these decks would normally decks in draft have tons of creatures. It's quite possible our opponent might be playing a slightly spell heavy deck. It's one Okay. Is he going to protect this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's try anyway. He's preset, he's offering it to us. Let's see what he's got. I'm really curious. He's definitely gonna move the tokens there. Oh wait, no. Sea legs. Okay. So it survives. He's gonna take out the two tokens. Oh wait, it had death touch right? Oh no, it always had death touch. Okay. So the rapids, sure. Yeah, so it's a good thing I didn't try to dive down that one. So we get 
to bounce this guy once. Yeah, we misread we misread this one completely. Well, to be fair, I was okay even with that. Just being able to take it down would have been nice. Uh, branch Walker, so there's that. So we're trying to draw into our second green source so we can. Let's see which one to He has to bounce that. Yeah, let's dive down this one now. That slippery scoundrel. What? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait. There we go. Another green source. But I'm gonna play slippery scoundrel first. This does open me up to the golden demons. It also wrecks our opponent, except for this one. So at least we're hitting for 4. He's probably gonna replay the Dead Eye Brawler unless he has something big. At least these colors don't have um, trample, so at least these guys can block all day for the Brawler. I'm just gonna keep chunking this guy forever. Really racing at this point. I think our opponent is gonna flip search, yeah, especially at. Oh, he didn't flip search. I think he's just gonna use this as a card advantage engine. Probably means he doesn't have that many left. Okay, it's fine. Considering the clock I have, I'd rather he nuke, nuke that instead of nuke these. Water not, so we did move that, but it's perfectly fine. Let's play our own soul with the rapids. So now he might have he might have to hold this back unless he wants to go down to one. Actually no, it's well it's guaranteed one. If he doesn't hold this back. So I'm not going to let him draw a card, I'm just going to chump block once. If he swings with the rig hauler, I block. I regular block with that. Yeah, kind of sees what's going on the wall. Let's offer the, let's offer the trade at least. Probably should have sent these also, but he could have just blocked this. Let's wait a bit. Okay, sure, not, not a problem. So basically, it's just chump blocks for days. There's no trample. So he's drawing cards, trying to draw a way out of this. Golden Demise will do it. I only got one scoundrel in front of me. more fodder for the ground. Definitely keeping that on top. So I can attack. No point attacking with those two. It just puts him down to one. The difference between one and two is kind of negative. Okay. 
difference between 75 is isn't. Side play. Well, no, he could have just hit me instead. I considered taking this one back in the draft, but. Yeah, this is this was probably the much better combination. I was significantly more into Merfolk at this point, though the evasion's not bad. And the opponent knows he's gonna lose one blocker. Sure, want to bounce that? Well, actually, that's the only target I could bounce. To be Creature, yeah, he couldn't bounce that. That's literally the only thing he can bounce. He might have been better off not bouncing. So I attack with all. He goes down to one. He's just attack. I'm gonna flip it now because he needs to draw something very specific. Let's hope that's not it. Please, no golden demise. There's no golden demise. But that was scary. It probably meant that he had a golden demise of some sort. We probably should have just attacked anyway. Swung with everything. We had enough lockers for the most part. Beacon bolt. So. We can afford one more loss, but let's see if we can win this one outright. So, much better draft than the previous one. But I'm still happy with the... Even the previous one was kind of happy. That one paid me off in in rares. This one's paying me off in wins. And I think I still have enough gold to do... Over time, I'll have enough gold to do one more afterwards. This one... Not the best hand, because I'm praying for mana. And it's a mantra of my... If your first play is, I need to draw X, not a good plan. Okay, I don't need to draw X. I still need to draw X, kind of, but let's just go. For it. At least I have a turn tree water knot, which is kind of poor. And I do have enough merfolk to draw into. Um, it's skipping, so that's an off. Okay. So we kind of drew into our merfolk. We have a turn 2 into a turn 3 play. Come on, opt this. Not much of a taunt. It's, it's literally the only thing your opponent can do. So we got a crashing tide for extra support. Probably save that for later. Healing barrier. In fact, this one will be extremely annoying. This one only works in spells, so we only get one extra token. Still better. So, please, Siren, look out. Rekindling Phoenix, there's our tap target. Hunt the week after, and we can even hunt the week the lookout late later. Our opponent's a bit of a ways off, so that's it. That's not gonna stop me. So. Begin. 
waiting for our opponent to drop his brazen free booter. That's one. Way. Unfortunately, this that's our only hunt the week, so we have no other way of getting rid of this. I could just crash him tight to buy us some time. He's more likely to just play the re rekindling phoenix immediately. So let's crash. Draw something. Swarm target. Sure, that gives us more obvious options. We're gonna we're gonna bleed. We're gonna start bleeding creatures afterwards, but that's. Even just play this one again. Fortunately, we only have one water knot. I think I don't think we have a second one, so we really need to save it for this guy. Opponent's probably gonna. We're at least bleeding our opponent a little bit there. So we down to six. Let's see if he plays the brazen free booter next. He, I, I take him for four damage. Then I can take him again afterwards. Yeah, locking this guy down is so important. Unfortunately, they also have. Oh, wait! Fanatical Firebrand is gonna kill the Silver Gill Adept. really interesting. I'm gonna play Furious Obsession and Jungleborn Pioneer knowing our opponent has to double block unless he, or lose the Gleaming Barrier. Send the entire team anyway. He can also just block, block, sack this one. So I trade off the free booter which is and one token, so it's a good pl play also. So I'm virtually trading two for two. Yep. So forces his hand, puts him, down to, puts him down to three life, and he needs to block two creature, at least three creatures. He needs to play multiple small threats. He can't play a single big threat here. Charging Tusselot is not going to do it. Seeds theory. Woo! And with and with that match, we can hit the silver one. I think we we can hit we can hit gold reliably this season now. So all in all, this is a nice haul. Additional packs. I th now that I think of it, we got lucky in the last draft. We were s there was a chance he didn't get two packs. I wasn't guaranteed. So, there you go. That's this draft. Much better. That's it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I like what I saw. Don't forget to turn on notifications and whatnot. And as always, that I'm curious. How do you how do you think about the invasion of Curious Obsession? Ooh, I really like what I see. That said, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again next time.